What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at eScene's portable solar charger panel. Now you can pick this up right now, and I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick it up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So if you guys are looking to maybe go out camping or, or anything like that, and you still want to keep your gadgets charged up like your phone, maybe a GPS or a power bank or something like this, this solar panel can support up to 13 watts. It's got about 22% efficiency. It does 5 volts at a max of 2 amps. Now you can charge two devices at the same time with this, but again, keep in mind the 2 amp max is always. It's, it's not 2 amps per port, but it's 2 amps max. So let's go and take a look at this real quick. It is covered in all nylon. It has these little... Uh, cords on the side here so you can kind of mount it. It is also water resistant so if you happen to uh, you know get this wet a little bit it is resistant to it. It's not waterproof so don't submerge it in water but if it does get wet or anything you don't have to worry about that. And here it does have two solar panels on the back here. It has a nice little pouch that you can open up. It comes with four little carabiners, which is pretty cool. It comes with a USB-A to micro USB cable. And here's your manual. And then here is the little port that you can plug the little USB into. It does have a little uh, rubber cover to kind of keep it, you know, from getting wet or dust in it. And there, as you can see, are the two USB-A ports and again it's 5 volts 2 amps max so you can plug in you know a phone or something like that in here GPS anything like that and that's pretty much for the overview now I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and see what it can do okay so here I have my eScene solar panel set up outside and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up to my little voltmeter that's gonna tell me how many volts and amps we're actually supplying to my iPhone 12 while it's charging. It's a super bright day out, so we should be getting the highest output possible. Here's my iPhone 12. We are currently at 19% battery. So we're gonna plug it in, we're gonna leave it for an hour, and we're gonna see uh, what kind of charge we can get. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. We'll see our little voltmeter change here. So there you go, it's, it is charging, and right away we are getting a reading. So as you can see, it's supplying about 5 volts, uh, 1.4 amps. Again, this is the total output of amps is up to 2 amps. And it is charging, as you can see on the iPhone there. So we're back in the green. As you can see, it went from 19% up to 21 already. So it is charging. So again, we're going to leave this for an hour and we'll see what it's charged up to after that. Right now it's 117, so we'll come back at 217 and see where we're at. One more thing to note, when you do charge up devices, make sure that you have your devices out of direct sunlight. You probably wanna maybe put it behind the solar panel so it is uh, shielded from the sun because you don't want your device to bake. Just a little tip. Okay, so here we are, it's about 221, and we are charged up about 67 percent so we started off at like 19 20 so like maybe for seven percent later for an hour so that's not too bad so if we look at our meter here it's still running at about 4.8 4.7 volts and the amperage has lowered just a little bit it's now down to 1.2 1.1 amps so the sun has moved just a little bit but it's still pretty strong not really cloudy out uh, today so we're gonna go ahead and leave it charged to at least 80% and we'll see if the voltage drops any okay so I did keep my garage door closed just because it's a little easier to see but I will open in just a second and I did stop this before it got to hundred percent because I did want to show you guys what it was actually doing so right now it is actually at 96 percent charged and it's a little more than two hours so here you can see our voltmeter it's still charging 
but because it's past the 80% mark, the amperage has dropped. And that's not just from this solar charger, that's any charger. Once it gets, your phone gets to a certain percentage, typically it starts to slow down because the battery is filling up. So as you can see, the amperage has dropped, but the voltage has gone up just a little bit. So we're still charging at five, well, we're charging at five volts now, a little more than five volts, whereas before we were just a little below, but the amperage was higher. So now we're at about point, you know, point 0.2, point 0.3 amps. Um, so from 20% almost up to 100%, I'd probably say it would maybe take another half an hour to 45 minutes. Um, to get up to 100%, but that kind of gives you some idea of how good uh, this solar charger will work for charging up a phone like this. So now, as you can see, I have opened up my garage door and it is still super sunny out. And it's been like that for pretty much the whole two hours that I've been recording here. Now, one other thing I wanted to let you know about was that on any solar panel, it's not this just this solar panel, when it's been sitting out in the sun, it heats up and when the solar panel heats up it loses more efficiency and this one's been sitting in you know direct sunlight for more than two hours so of course the efficiency is going to drop a little bit but for free energy i really don't think that that's uh too long to charge up a phone from almost you know from 20 to you know almost 100 percent right now we're sitting at 97 percent so it's actually gone up a percent since uh, i've been out here recording so I definitely do think it's done a pretty good job. So now just for fun, I kind of wanted to see what this solar panel could provide this OOPS power station. It's got a huge battery in it, so I know it's going to take a lot of time. So we're going to go ahead and plug into our USB Type-C adapter in here. It's capable of taking up to 60 watts, but this, this solar panel only does about 13. So we'll go ahead and see uh, what we can get out of here. There you can see it is charging on our little adapter here. It is charging at about five volts. The amperage is about 1.35. Voltage is now a 4.5. And as you can see, the wattage is about five, six watts, and that's it's showing 6.2 on here. So as you can see, it is possible to use this solar panel to charge up this big battery power station. It's gonna take a long time, but again, if you're out in a situation where you don't have any other choice, you know it's at least possible to do. I also wanted to see what would happen if we obstructed the solar panel with something like this towel that I had here. And with, to my surprise, it actually still had enough charge to keep the phone charging regardless of whether or not it was a lot. It still had enough to say that the phone was still charging. It was only when I obstructed it with something that really wouldn't let any light through at all that it actually stopped charging the phone and then started recharging again when I pulled it away. I definitely do think it did a good job charging up uh, my iPhone 12 considering how much wattage this is capable of putting out. And it's small enough to where you can just throw it in your book bag or even maybe in your glove box in your car to keep it in emergency situations. Another useful way you can use this solar panel is in your car. Maybe you have an older car, it doesn't have USB plug-in to charge your device, or maybe you don't have a cigarette lighter adapter. You can always unfold the solar panel, throw it up on your dashboard, and then plug in your device and just let it charge, maybe on your way to work or if you're on a long trip, something like that but I definitely do think this is a good thing to have, even if you're gonna use it for camping, maybe in an emergency situation where there are a lot of hurricanes or something like that. This will always give you a way to freely charge up your device or a, a few devices. It might not be the quickest, but usually there's always gonna be sunlight, so you're gonna have some way to charge up your device. So again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys wanna pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you wanna support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.